Hey guys, guess what today is? Do you know what today is? Everybody in Management Solutions and abroad should know what today is. Today is Happy Project Management Day. That's right, November 3rd, Happy Project Management Day. So in celebration of this great day, um, our company has put together a little video to show you some of the favorite terms that we as a project management company hear day in, day out from our customers and our team, our team members as we work with them. So enjoy this little video. That's not in the budget. Does it go against the contingency reserve or the management reserve? Are you sure you have enough CAs on this WBS? Rapid prototyping or agile methodology? What's your percent complete? No, not how, I'm not going to tell you how much you've spent. I really need to know what's your percent complete on the work you've accomplished. That's out of scope. For this cost account, are you going to assign the 0-100 rule, the 50-50 rule, the 80-20 rule, the 25-75 rule? They scheduled using progress override instead of retained logic. Are we using parametric estimating, bottom-up estimating, or three-point estimating? Hey, are we adding value to that customer? Is our system closed loop? For this project, are we using Agile EVMS or EVMS 413.3B or EV Lite? Guys, are we constantly trying to innovate? They're not hiring an expertise that they've already got. We've got to be ahead of the scale. What are we doing to innovate? Who's in charge of the customer experience management? Can we get a capital investment estimate on the stress room in the office? Well, quality begins with you. Or should that be a cue? So you've spent 60% of your budget, but you're only 40% complete, and you're sure you're going to catch up. Mm, I don't see that happening. Software as a service provides scalability. Who is the CAM on the OBS for this WBS on this PMB? Does it come with real-time KPI widgets? I don't even need to buy project management. We do that in-house. I don't need any project management help. We might have to value engineer that one out. The solution is big data analytics. Hey, can I get a balance scorecard on that? I've calculated your CPI, your SPI, and it looks like you're headed into the ditch. We need to do a CAR. What is our level of precision? Millions? We've got to crash the schedule to mitigate the impact event. Phew. I've looked at this BCWP, ACWP, SPI, and CPI so long that I need a PP break. What do you mean you've spent 70% of your budget and you haven't really kicked off the effort? I know you're having to buy supplies, but 70% of your budget? We need to start doing QCs on our PMPs. Could you put that in a flow diagram? Let me make sure I understand this. We have to use the EVMS under the ANSI EIA 748.98B standard that has 32 criteria and five sections and our goal is to have an SPI and a CPI of one. Who's in charge of this? The government? What's our profit margin going to be on this project? The spotlight indicators were left off the balance scorecard dashboard. Could you put that in a Gantt chart? Can you run me a Pareto analysis on that project? Thanks. Are we doing resource leveling on that, or are we just making the assumption all the resources are going to be available? Two words. Cloud computing. Can you tell me what the ETA on your ETC is? NQA1 compliance is where we live. There's no need to do a risk register because we don't really have any risks on this project. The predecessor won't drive the successor unless you lag the relationship. I planned my wedding in Microsoft Project. It was on time and on budget. Are we ISO certified? I don't really manage to the critical path because I've got all the activities in my head that it's going to take to run this project. Are you gaming the SV and the CPI metric by ignoring the critical path activities in favor of the big budget activities that have lots of float? That wasn't on the risk register. The best news 
It's fully ANSI EIA compliant. You want to double the work and decrease the budget? <laughs> oh, you're serious. I know I'm behind schedule, but I know by next month I'm going to make up that, that time frame. Well, no, I know now by next month I'm really going to make up that time frame. Well, now I'm out of time and I'm behind schedule, it's going to impact the project. Can somebody tell me what all these acronyms mean? So I said, connect your OLAP cube to your data warehouse. Boom! Business intelligence. When you were meeting with them, did you tell them what we do in project management? 